It is possible if you've detected the presence of bed bugs in your home early on within the infestation process to remediate or remedy the situation on your own. And so I'm going to get a little bit into the steps of how you can do that, because if that doesn't work, you need a professional and you need to rely on both their advice and their applications to resolve the issue. If you're able to discover or determine that you have bed bugs early on, it's very simple. One, you can inspect carefully the areas around where you're staying the most amount of time. This is your couch or your bed and look at the furniture nearby those areas. You're looking for areas where there's crevices or textures. That's like the piping of the cushions of your couch under the tags of your mattresses. You're looking for black fecal staining that kind of looks like a spilled or cracked open ink from a ballpoint pen. These are areas that you should focus your efforts on. Be prepared with a vacuum that has a hose attachment with a nozzle and be prepared as well with a 90% or higher isopropyl rubbing alcohol, which you can get at your local store. And at this point, drugstores have caught on and they even give it to you in spray bottles because they know that this is actually being used for bed bug self-treatment. With a flashlight, rubbing alcohol and a vacuum. If you are incredibly diligent and take your time to examine the areas around where you spend your most time, whether it be on the couch, at a desk chair or in bed, you can resolve the issue on your own. Very carefully, if you see bed bugs, you can just vacuum them up into the vacuum. And if you see areas where you think bed bugs might be present, whether it be eggs or nymphs, something that's a little harder to determine, you can deeply saturate the area with the rubbing alcohol spray. I would recommend that you do a test spray first if it's upholstered or if it's a wood finish because rubbing alcohol does have a tendency to discolor certain items. So before you ruin your couch, do a quick test spray on the back or underside to see if it's going to affect the fabric before you saturate any areas. That being said, bed bugs are not incredibly hardy insects and so spraying them thoroughly with rubbing alcohol will be sufficient for killing them. Eggs can be a little bit harder to treat with just rubbing alcohol. So you might also want to saturate a cloth and try to, with firm pressure, wipe down an area. If it's the bolt hole of a bed, you can try and put rubbing alcohol on a Q-tip and swabbing out the hole or, you know, creases or seams of mattresses or upholstered pieces, then you can also try to vigorously rub through the area. And this will both help to dislodge the eggs as well as to actually just crush them. And so again, a flashlight, vacuum with a hose attachment, and rubbing alcohol in a spray bottle. And these three things can be used to eliminate an early onset bed bug infestation on their own.